In today's video, I am going to talk to you about Muggsy Bogues. If you are a shorter basketball player, this is definitely a video that you're not going to want to miss because it's going to give you a lot of good tips on how you can gain an advantage on taller players. Let's get down and let's check out Muggsy Bogues. So Muggsy Bogues was a 5'3 point guard. Yes, 5'3 in the NBA. He played for my, my favorite team, the Toronto Raptors, as well as Charlotte, and of course, many, many other teams, but one thing for sure is he was able to use his height to his advantage and that is what we're going to talk about today. But first, I really want to talk about his jump shot. If you tend to get your shot blocked a lot, well, look at his shot. Look how high he is able to jump to release his shot. He is able to jump as high as this player's knees just to get his shot off. This is something that he has been able to develop because of his height. He needed to get up higher so that he was harder to block. And this is something that you can do as well. So of course being able to jump higher is going to give you a lot more power on your shot so you're not going to need to use your arms as much. But definitely a great tip for anyone trying to get their shot over top of 7 footers. And by the way, this shot was made by Muggsy Bogues. He had a very high shooting percentage. Something else that made Muggsy Bogues fantastic was his ability to play defense and then be able to turn defense into offense like we see here in this clip. Now why I say this is a great defensive play, well you can do this as well no matter what height you are. A wing to point pass is one of the most dangerous passes in the game and if you have a very good defender or if you are a very good defender with very fast feet, you are going to be able to pick off a lot of these passes and because of that you will be able to turn defense into offense quite quickly and quite easily as well. Now something that made Muggsy Bogues special was his speed. He was able to get down court very quickly, able to do quick fakes like that one right there to be able to get nice assists. So how did he do this? Let's rewind this just a bit. Well he comes down and then he does a quick hesitation. He does a quick hesitation on that left foot so he's still able to do two steps after this. From there he takes one step two-step and then he passes over. The reason for that is because when he does that hesitation, that player thinks that he's going to do a bounce pass over to that other player. And because of that, he's able to make that player get out of his way essentially and then he's able to make that pass now once he's made it past that defensive player and of course now he's able to slam it down. Again, he was very good on the full court and here he is able to use a quick screen and then makes that pass. Believe me, no player wanted Muggsy Bogues to score. Nobody wanted a 5'3 guy to score on them and because of that, he's able to use screens like this, a brush screen, so that now he can get past that player, his main defender followed him around, his screener, his defender has now moved off to defend Muggsy Bogues as well because nobody wants to have Muggsy Bogues shoot a mid-range shot, that's something that he was very very good at, and because of that he was able to make that pass after getting double teamed, and now that player he passed to is able to finish with a finger roll. So Muggsy Bogues was also very good at noticing zone defenses, and here he's able to set up right in the middle of a double team location on a zone defense, which allows this player to get absolutely wide open he's able to make that pass over to that player and because of that that player is now able to take his shot this is definitely a skill that everyone needs not just short players but everybody you also cannot be afraid to pull up for a jump shot even if it's inside the three-point line. Because of Muggsy Bogues' height, this player right here, he has issues defending faster players. So he is trying to get as low as possible, trying to get his shoulders lower than Muggsy Bogues, which is impossible, and because of that, Muggsy Bogues notices that. Muggsy Bogues is able to come up for that shot, a quick hesitation style move where he doesn't necessarily pick up the ball right away until his last step, and then he's able to go up for that shot and he's able to bang that shot. Now, 
as a shorter player yourself, what you can use out of this is the ability to do that quick hesitation pull up and make your shot if a player is super low and giving you space. Whether you're a foot inside the three or not, I know they're saying that's a bad shot today, but even if you can hit 90% of those shots and there's no real defense guarding you, you are going to be a much more beneficial player on your team than some may think. Let's also not forget his defense once again. Players dribble high, especially if they're tall players. And he was able to do this much of his career because this player here is super tall. He is going to be dribbling at waist high, if not thigh, knee height, somewhere in that range. Well, guess what? Because of Muggsy Bogues' height, he is not even up to that player's waist. And because of that, this player has a very long ways to dribble that Muggsy Bogues can sneak in there and basically pick off his dribble. And he did this throughout his entire career. That player starts to drive, he helps out, and he's able to reach in, get that ball because of his height, and he's able to take it down for the offensive side. Now in this next clip, what we can see is a player posting up getting double teamed. Muggsy Bogues is on this side. And what we can see here is a quick pass and swing. And by getting into an open position on the court yourself, finding an open spot, reading the defense, you can bang a lot of shots yourself as well. Let's not forget that you have a very low center of balance, so you can save the ball while still staying in bounds. And don't forget, you can send up floaters. Short players, even though you're short, it doesn't matter. You can still send up floaters over top of seven footers like Muggsy Bogues. If you can get enough arc on that shot, you can definitely destroy players, especially when you're driving towards the rim. If you know the distance of where that player's hand is going to be in the air, you can get it over top and you can make those shots as well. So now in this last clip, I really want you to check out how much height Muggsy Bogues gets when he drives towards the rim. He's driving on players much taller than him, but he's able to finish down the lane on bigger players, like Charles Barkley in this clip. Now why is he able to do that? Well, let's check this out. Charles Barkley is right here. He is a massive dude, and he still is, but he was a lot better in shape back then than he is now, but weren't we all... Anyways, but anyways, Muggsy Bogues is driving towards the rim. Look at how high he is able to get his hand. He could touch rim as a five foot three player. This is insane, and this is what every single player should strive for. Whether you are five foot three, six foot three, seven foot three, you can all touch the rim. Obviously, if you put in enough work, and Muggsy Bogues is proof of this. You can also be a great player. Now, will there be another 5'3 player in the NBA? Most likely, yes. We've had the Spud Webbs way back in the day. We've had Muggsy Bogues. We've had other players who are on the shorter side. You should not be discouraged, especially if you're told by many people, you're 5'5", five five, you're 5'3", five you're 5'2", five you're too short. You should not be discouraged by that. You need to use that as fuel to become the man, the player, whoever, the woman, whatever that you can possibly be the best basketball player possible i'm six foot two and i've been told that i was too short so take that as an advantage figure out what you need to do to become better how you can score and how you can get assists and how you can defend better and believe me yes you can also make the nba just like mugsy bogues I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.